what is up you guys so today I am going to be giving you a tutorial on how I yoni steam at home I've been yoni steaming for a couple of months now today will make my six yoni steam I've been off my cycle now for two weeks they say that you have to wait a week before you yoni steam after your cycle so this has been about two weeks since I've been off so I'm going to show you guys how I do my yoni steaming and the first one I ordered on Instagram which is these herbs right here actually you get four steams for $55 and I thought that was a good deal at first until I went on Amazon my next to Walmart favorite place to shop at in the whole wide world when I went on um, Amazon's I found this big bag here for $57 and you get 12 steams so go figure you get more for your money here than the four steams that I got on Instagram but it's okay you live and you learn I'm going to use them all just the same. I like them both. And the only difference between both of these is two different ingredients. That's it. They both pretty much have the same ingredients. The only two differences is this bigger bag has, let me see, yarrow and rosemary in it. And so when you do your yanni steaming, you're supposed to use a cup of the herbs and these already come in the one cup bags so I pretty much like this for the simple fact that all I got to do is just pour this one into the water I'm actually going to demonstrate and use this one for you guys today the next thing you got to have is something to steam with so I ordered myself and I just got herbs all over the place excuse me y'all I ordered this sits bath from Amazon and I paid $12.99 for it. I use this every time I steam. They say that you're supposed to add four cups of water to your steam, but I can't do that with this because as you can see, it doesn't look like it hold that much. But the thing is, I can put four cups easily in here, but you have to understand that when you sit down, yo, but JJ might touch this hot water and you don't want to do that. So this has basically been trial and error for me. I had to figure out what would work in using this and I figured out that three and a half cups of water with the herbs work perfectly for my Yanni steaming. Also with my Yanni steaming, you guys, I add five drops of 100% peppermint oil to my herbs and it just gives me this cool sensation while I'm steaming. So some of the benefits of Yanni steaming as to why I was so interested in doing it in the first place, I'll give you guys some of the benefits. It helps with PMS, vaginal scarring, painful menstruation, blocked fallopian tubes, heavy bleeding, vaginal dryness, uterine toning, irregular cycles. I have irregular cycles, so this is the reason why I wanted to try the Yanni steaming to see if it would get me on regular cycles and also if it would slow down my cycles because whenever I have my cycles, I bleed for eight days straight. It's not heavy bleeding, but it is just like... When is it going to be over already? <laughs> kind of. So I've been to the doctor and my doctor said that there's nothing wrong with me. He said the blood is flowing from where it's supposed to be flowing from. So there's no problem that I'm bleeding for eight days. But like I said, today is going to be my sixth Yanni steaming. And when I did my last Yanni steaming right before this menstrual cycle, I only bled for five days. Bled for five days. I was super sick. So I have to continue on with my Yanni steaming y'all because I am just excited that it has brought this quick change even though it's taken me a couple of months to get here but it took me from eight days of what I'm used to down to five days. I'm definitely doing my Yanni steam today. So I'm going to walk you guys through how I Yanni steam. Okay, so now that I have my water boiling, I'm just going to go ahead and add my herbs in. And then I'm just going to allow this to seep for 5 to 10 minutes.
Okay, so now that I have my herbs in my sits bath, I'm going to let this go ahead and sit for four minutes before I sit on it because it's very hot this close to the JJ, so you want to let it cool off for just a few minutes. Okay, so now that that's all cooled off, you want to make sure you have on some socks get a nice blanket that you can wrap around you so it can hold in the heat and then you're going to sit on that for 20 minutes. Alrighty you guys, so now that my steam is over, I'm going to relax in the bed for about an hour or two to just let my steam to just continue to just work itself and I'm feeling nice, cleansed down there and it's just time to Netflix and chill. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you on another one real soon. Bye fam. I know this UPS driver just did not drop my box twice on the porch. Now I just walked in here and he delivered my package.